lovely people. Welcome to my office. And this wallpaper is one of the first things that we did when we moved in. It's a cupboard, guys. I love our house. This looks like it's just the best thing. So today, let's talk about body confidence. I think it's something that we all struggle with, really. We all have our ups and our downs and feeling good, feeling bad. I don't believe that there is such a thing as the genetic lottery. Oh. What am I doing? Lottery. I, um, no, I, I can't do this now. This comes from a girl who has a genetic disability, okay? I just don't think that you can win or lose based on how you're born. Someone could be the perfect picture of beauty, but still have problems with the way that they look. And equally, someone else has a part of their body that is off-putting to other people, but that they fully accept and they love, even. I have a double scoliosis. I don't know the sign for, I'll be honest. Is there a sign for that? But that's a double curvature of the spine. At the top here, it goes to the right, and at the bottom, it goes to the left. Can you tell? No? That's because they are both exactly the same. So, 45 degrees here, and 45 degrees down here. My ribs at the top go this way, and at the bottom here, they go this way, in, and this side straight down. So the right side of my body has a little waist and lots of muscle here on the shoulder and then the left side of my body just goes straight down and has lots of muscle around the back here and that's and it sounds pretty painful and it is pretty painful. I take lots of painkillers every single day. Sometimes that feels like having a really hot poker uh, like jammed in my shoulder blade and some trying to wedge it off but most of the time it's just like an ache similar to having a book dropped on your foot that kind of like bone crush if I had to have my spine straightened uh, that would mean having a metal rod attached and they'd have to break all of my ribs and then reattach them. And as tempting as it is to become the female wolverine, no. I just don't care enough to actually do something about it. I have much bigger problems. Uh, my hair is naturally very straight. be aware when I'm dressing and choosing my clothes to try not to have it straight too much. That's just my personal preference. And although maybe you can't see it right now, if I walk around in a little bikini then yeah it's pretty obvious. But I am happy, very happy, to walk around in said bikini. Just please, no close-ups of my teeth. I also had a mini uh, so now I can't feel the left side of my face. Plus, I find that it moves quite slowly. Is one side a little smirk? That's paralysis, I'm not actually flirting with you. Or am I? My point was, we all have body issues of different types, whatever they may be. And no one really cares about your particular problem because they are all worrying about their own. So my thing is to take one part of your body that you can control, like your hair, and just channel all of your issues into that. World peace solved by good hair care. This video uh, is for Emma 
who asked me about body confidence and being confident when you have a disability. So those are my thoughts, but what about you? Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, hit like, and let me know what you'd like me to do a video about next. Thank you.